Boston 25 News at 10 starts right now. Right now, hospitals around Massachusetts are expanding the type of care they can provide under the state's reopening guidelines. But the financial strain of the last few months have really taken a toll. Many lost tens of millions of dollars. Some health care systems even need to furlough nurses. Boston 25 News reporter Wale Ali, you joins us live now. And Wale, you talked to nurses who were worried about this. Yeah, 25 investigates spoke with nurses that are facing furloughs of up to six months during the coronavirus pandemic. They tell us they're worried the financial pressure on the hospitals could have a lasting impact on patient care. Atrius Health is one of the largest primary care providers, but can't afford to pay all its staff right now because of the COVID-19 pandemic. You know, the governor's saying, call your doctor, call your doctor. And I'm sitting here going, there's nobody there. <laughs> you know, we're gone. Ambulatory nurse case manager Michelle Sweeney says Atrius Health furloughed her on April 17th, making her already stretched colleagues even busier. So that work didn't disappear. It's still there. It's just nobody's there doing it. It's going to result in them coming into the hospital sicker, frailer and being more prone to get this virus and more prone to a poor health outcome. Atrius Health tells 25 Investigates health care organizations across the country are in uncharted waters as they care for patients while navigating the financial pressures. Massachusetts Nurses Association estimates 500 nurses in its 23,000 member union alone have been furloughed because of those financial pressures. That's led to nurses filing complaints like these from Facebook. It felt like a war out there today. We were all so busy. Or witnessed patients going without the proper standard of care due to complete lack of staffing. Or this warning that everyone needs to be cognizant of their training and not be pushed into taking patients outside their scope of practice. We're facing um, a pandemic like we have never seen in any of our lifetimes. And the last thing that we should be thinking about is our profit margin right now. They have received significant resources, both federally and statewide. But Massachusetts Health and Hospital Association says hospitals only received $1 billion in aid. In a letter, the association said this left too many of our hospitals without needed relief, including 64% of Massachusetts acute hospitals that received no funding. The Holyoke Medical Center CEO tells 25 Investigates that put many hospitals in a tough spot. They set a, uh, a threshold of 100 admissions in order to get any funding. You take care of these patients, you see death all around you, and then you hear from your CEO that, guess what, Washington forgot about us, uh, and, they, and they're not funding us. Uh, it's just demoralizing. Massachusetts Health and Hospital Association says with increased cost for COVID treatment, plus a drop in money coming in for outpatient services and elective procedures, state hospitals are losing more than $1.4 billion each month. Obviously, it's not sustainable for us to lose this much money for a prolonged period of time. UMass Memorial Healthcare tells 25 Investigates their hospital alone will be almost $100 million short after the last three months. Still, the CFO says they have not chosen to furlough employees. Our CEO has donated money to the Employee Assistance Fund. I myself have donated money to the Employee Assistance Fund because we want to be able to bounce back and have the goodwill of the employees with us. But Sweeney tells 25 Investigates if employees are working long hours with less help while nurses like her remain home, she's concerned it could lead to diminished care for patients. That's the piece that I can't reconcile, you know, and I think that unless or until we look at our health care system as a whole and how it's financed, this is the unfortunate reality of what's happening. And hospitals like Holyoke Medical Center tell 25 Investigates it kept all nurses directly involved in treating COVID-19 patients. But if they got sick or needed to quarantine, the furloughed nurses who are not as hands-on can fill in. And as for the $1 billion in aid, Massachusetts Health and Hospital Association says that was decided before the surge in cases in Massachusetts. I'm Wale Ali for 25 Investigates.